Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and we're going to the catacombs. As if there weren't enough death already. And I, uh, shouldn't this make a sound? I, oh. Oh, that's what that ringing was. Suppose I'll just have to deal with that. Well, anyway, can't seem to get to the cup, so let's go down. That's what I can't do. If there's a cup I want and I can't get it, I just go downstairs. Not exactly the most logical course of action, but it'll work in this case. Also, skeletons. Skeletons which will come back from the dead. Once. Each. If they have glowing white eyes. Can I backstab you? Yes, I can! And you take significant damage from backstabs, despite... I mean, okay, you have a spine, so I guess you do have a back. But you have no organs or other really sensitive bits. Oh well, Dark Souls doesn't operate on D&D logic. And I'm fine with that. Of course, this can be a bit of a pain. There's actually an enemy with... Whoa, okay, wow! No! Uh, well, that... I was afraid that would happen. That's an exciting start to our catacomb adventures. I've actually never done that before. <laughs> that is the first time I've ever dropped up there. Normally, it's not a problem. That was... That's a new experience to me. Not necessarily a pleasant one, but a new one. Also, I kind of want to at least give it one fair shot with Ember. Might be something invading. That would be neat to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ow. Yeah, ha, ha. All right, come back. I know you want to. I know you, or how the heck? Okay, that's interesting to note. Apparently there's a way of avoiding those problems as they come. Now as for you. Okay, now, now I've got you. Uh, nope. Ah, ha, ha. Now I've got you! Completely dead to rights, and I don't think you respawn. Now you didn't have white glowing eyes. Nope, you're good. Okay. And there will be a crossbow user up there. That's my bigger concern, why I didn't go forward in the first place. Ah, yeah. well, That was close. You're always worried I'll actually get hit by that thing, because these daggers, I keep forgetting how short their range is, and I have to compensate for that. All right, now you get backstabbed somehow. I guess I'm just cutting in between the vertebrae and cutting the nerve connections or whatever is there. Honestly, that makes little sense to me, but it works. Also, thanks for telegraphing your moves. That is really convenient. Actually, I should point out that they are fairly strong against arrows and against other spells. I think piercing weapons, I think spears don't do a great job against them. They are not especially good at dealing with slashing weapons or probably not bludgeoning weapons. I mean, with... What's it called in Dark Souls? Thrust damage? Yeah, thrust damage and strike damage. Also, trap. Just for demonstration purposes. Trap. Press the button. Death comes out. Since I'd rather not die, again... I shall avoid death, where possible. Now, if I only recall where this part is. Okay, this I recall being scary. Lucrative for Titanite shards, but scary. This thing in particular is going to start jumping around and everything. Actually, before I fight it then, I'm going to just put myself in a situation where I'm not in as bad a spot. Oh, what? I thought I could... Ow, that's not parryable. Those are kukri. Okay, that's not gonna work. I gotta be more careful here. And by more careful, I mean... Seriously, you telegraph like... There we go! Thinking you telegraph like nothing! I don't know why I'm having a hard time hitting you, but... Cool, whatever. I'll just do that. And get some HP back. Oh, yeah! And, oh, sharp gem. Also good! Also very good! And a titanite shark, because why not? And a shuttle and some kukri. I don't plan to use the shuttle, but neat. I do plan to use the sharp gem, though. I would like to put it on one of the twin blades, because sharp gems are awesome. 
All right, so there's another one of you. I think you have friends nearby. No? Oh, I know where I am. I know exactly where I am. What the? Come on. Oh, crap. Okay, that's not good. Well, no parrying for me, then. We're dodging everything, and then striking back, because that's just easier, quite frankly, with this enemy. I'd rather not have to deal with the parry timing on that weirdly delayed attack. Weirdly delayed attacks are the worst for parry timings. I don't get any giant sword, though. Do you give giant swords? I would like to know. I would like to take your giant sword. May I please have your giant sword? Ow. Aha! Jumping attack was ill-advised! And apparently you're really weak to magic. Holy crap. That's... That's amazingly weak to magic. Now, I've got to be careful here, because there is a boulder, and I think... Okay, I have to go through the doorway. Once I go through that doorway, a boulder will drop down from here and start going up and down the stairs. And yes, it'll go up the stairs. It's really just a bunch of skeletons all mashed together. Oh, no! No, no! Crap, I'm in a bad spot. I really had to get the lock on off there. Okay. You're going to spin, and you're going to die, because you spun. You spun to lose. Must be more careful with your spinning. It is a gift. It must be used wisely. Otherwise, you'll get yourself killed, as you have. Now, my little romp around the top side there, I didn't actually get to whatever's over here. And all the things over here. Namely, these... Oops. These guys with the swords that think they're shields. Those are not shields. Oh, those are parrying, though! Oh, sheesh. Okay, that's... That's really good to know. I'm glad I had the HP to survive that so that I learned. I didn't remember that happening. It's all the name of soldier, and I... Where the heck is that big... Skeleton ball. Okay, whatever. I'll. It'll be there. It'll be there, I swear. It's it's down there. It's a thing that'll happen. There'll be a giant ball of skeleton that just goes up and down the stairs. But for now, I have other things to deal with. Because that's one path, but there's another path. Because we have an old friend to talk to. And that old friend is really important for... Actually, not really much, come to think of it. I'm not doing the quest where they matter... Over much, but eh, whatever. They're still an old friend. I still might as well just talk to them and deal with their business. Ow! I'm out of stamina. Ah, you jerk. Nah, there we go. I'll show you for being a jerk. Oh. Ow! No! Whoa! Ah, shoot! I'm really getting overconfident with my ability to hit things at a distance. Hopefully Andre's here, and yes, he is! Hopefully he can write stuff down for me. Oh, hello, how very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horus? Okay, no, I haven't. He was snared by a trap, and you were separated. Well, that's a bit of a shame. And you haven't been able to find him. Okay. Well, I can't help you. Sorry. Horus is a valiant knight. He can look out for himself, no question. He's probably searching for you right now. I would hope so, but honestly, I can't tell you. And if I happen upon him... Okay, I'll tell you I'll tell you if I happen upon him. But I don't expect to, that you remain in the catacombs and will lay prison stones. Okay. I... I take it's not the first time Horus has been lost like this. I hadn't really thought of that before, but it seems pretty obvious now, just listening to the dialogue. It's like... Yeah, it's this is a thing. This is just a thing that happens. So you and Horus just have this thing that you do. All right. Well, at this point, I pretty much explored the main path, but not the path I'm likely to take. There's actually a better path. If I take a shortcut down where that cross or the archer is, that will make my life a lot easier because I can just avoid all this crap forever. Because this area was surprisingly challenging. I don't know why it. Okay, I guess it's really just that bit where I should have switched over to the Twin Blades rather than the Twin Daggers. That was my one real mistake. Everything else kind of derived from that. But now that we're through that area and go through the shortcut, then it's... Oh, you're still alive. 
Right. I forgot about that. Well, now you're not. Well, I guess you never really were, but now you're really not. So, to drop down here, we get... What do we get? There's two arches, as I recall. That's one! Oh, right, it's reform. Right, that's probably what's throwing me off. I need to wait for the skeletons to reform before I can actually do anything to them. There's a second one here as well. I think it's down below this hole. Oh, well it is, but you... But they went and were a jerk about it and didn't... What are you doing? How would you stab me with an arrow? Can I, I can't stab with an arrow, I think. I'm actually not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure I can't. Pretty sure that's an enemy-only thing. Well. Yeah! Eat soul arrow! Does it take... Ah, oh, it takes three to kill you. Never mind. What if I power up? Actually, it doesn't matter. No, because I can't hit you. Or I can just fall. Ah, okay, so how does this work? One, two... Yes, two to kill if I've charged. But now is the real challenge, because now we get the... Ske oh, it comes from over there. Okay. And the thing I actually care about over here is that there is a enemy who is going to be a pain if I don't... Come on, where are you? I... What? Really? How much Estes... How much FP does this take? Oh, it takes quite a lot. All right, that makes sense. There's an NPC that's right in there. I'm going to get after the ball comes back up. And when that's in, then I can just kill them. They're right here. The one in the hat. Not a bad hat. But they're the ones sustaining the ball. So the ball is... Oh, it's... Oh, it's... Nope, it's coming down. It's coming down. And then it's going to come over, and then it's going to break, and I think I get an Estes shard. And I don't. I get an undead bone shard. Also good. Upgrades me Estes flask. And apart from that, you know, cookery on stairs, something else up here as well. It's somewhat important. Ember! Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And that's the opening section of the Catacombs of Carthus. After that, we have this shortcut to take if we ever need to get through because, you know, I die. Again. Which is likely to happen. This is a tough area. And these pots throw out a bunch of really annoying spellcasty things. And there's an enemy right behind this one... I can't remember which one it is. One of you guys that starts shooting spells at me. Ah, you! You don't shoot spells. You have you have dark orbs of some kind that do things. Yeah. Ah! Yeah! Okay. Yeah, the problem is all these enemies are going to come up twice. So I need to deal with that. Also, dark orbs and other things. Like that thing throwing stuff that produces dark, which is really... Ow. It's really annoying. I have to be careful to make sure I don't... Ow! Come on. Get hit. Sheesh, my daggers are so tiny. My daggers are ridiculously tiny. I... I guess I'm not really compensating for anything. So this... In this area, I can't remember what... Which of these has the big explosive skulls, but one of them did. Okay, maybe it's the ones that have skulls? Okay, the ones with bones in them are fine. The ones that are empty are the ones I need to be wary of. Everything else is okay. And the Carthus Milk Ring, which, I mean, that's a thing. It's some kind of dodge property or something. What does this do again? Slightly boost dexterity. Well, that's nice. I don't recall if it has any other effects, though. I wonder if it works when I'm doing this quick step. No, only when rolling. Yeah, that's nice. Eh. I'd rather have the shield ring. Grant, I need to be full HP for that to work. And I'm reluctant to use my Estus. Although, how much do I have? I got six. There's a bonfire near-ish by... Maybe I should just use it. And that way, I get full shielding. Alright, so that guy, I want to backstab. There's, two, there's a skeleton over there that'll wake up if I get too close. There's some stuff over there that'll be a problem if I get too close to them. I didn't attune hidden body, which was a bit of a mistake. But I can still stab you! Oh, or not. Ow! 
Ow, you lucky, lucky son of a... Ow! <sighs> I still don't know the pattern with this stuff. What becomes dark and what doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. Right, let's try this again, and this time with Hidden Body. And Magic Weapon, because why not? Oh, I guess that's why not. I'm out of a, I'm out of magic. Okay, so the idea being, if I hit in body, I think I won't be able to wake up the skeletons and I can get behind this guy and backstab him. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Seriously? Seriously? What's the point of this stupid spell? I, oh, I, I found this last time I experimented with sorcery. It's like, hidden body does nothing. I thought they patched this. So it'd actually be some use in, in single player. Like, this is the most annoying thing because this is a pretty, in theory, important spell. It's like, I don't get the point. Like, why Why is this in the game? Why is this in the game if it's not going to be useful outside of one very specific situation that is PvP? In every other situation, it's useless. Oh, good, I separated you. That's the important thing, is you're not near the ones that throw this... Okay, are you going to respawn? Yes, you are. I was wise to wait. So I didn't see any soul explosion or pillaging or anything. I thought, you you respawn, don't you? And yeah, yeah, you do. Okay, so that simplifies things quite a bit. Oh, shit. Nope. Okay, you won't respawn. You sold, you ensouled me. And you're going to be fine, too, because you don't have any white eyes. Okay. That took far more effort than I figure really needed. But now that part's been dealt with. Okay. I'm curious if Spook will do me any good. I mean, granted, I'm dealing with a situation where I probably won't, but... We'll see. Because there's two of these guys... Oh, actually, it might. Well... Oh, nice! Oh, come on. Seriously? Ow! Ah, oh, stupid thing. What? Oh, shoot, I'm not, I'm not doing the thing. I'm not doing the, the dash. Okay, hang on. Oh, I don't avoid shield ring anymore. Okay, whatever, you're not a threat. You are certainly not a threat. Good. Ow! No! Whoa! Okay. Your corpse happens to be right next to the switch. Perfect. Ah. And you are still being a pain. All right, are you done? Yes, you're done. You are very done. Now I can finally finish you and not have to worry about it. All right. Titanite shard is mine. And another Titanite shard most likely is mine as well. Okay. Spook actually did do... Okay, so Spook works. Spook does me some good. Hidden body, not so much. But that's fine. I can work with that. Ooh, tricky. Tricky, tricky. I could fall to my death. Or at least fall to... Yeah, my death. Wheel skeletons. That's pretty death. I think there's a bonfire here, which is where I'm going. But maybe it's just skeletons. No, it's not just a skeleton bowl. It is a bonfire! Huzzah! We have a bonfire! We've gotten through the hardest section of this section. Like, what, I just went, what we just went through, that was the worst. Everything else from here on out is going to be relatively straightforward. So, I can't remember where the guy with a big hat for this one is. Because all these have a guy with a big hat that pretty much controls them. I think it's in there. Like in this section that's being protected. Oh? Yes, yes it is. Thank you for the note. So down those stairs. Oh, right, rats! Or what's left of them. Oh, I think there's a bunch of slime here too, if I'm not mistaken. And more of those Karthus annoying skeleton things that go up and down with the swings and everything. The ones with the, the, ones with the big curved blades. And another rat. Wow, I one-shot you guys? And a big rat. 
That's actually mildly difficult, but wow, nothing compared to the Undead Settlement. I remember these things the Undead Settlement, I actually had to try. Okay, wheel skeletons, and I think, yep, yep, there's ooze. So, my first priority is to find the one controlling that skeleton wheel. Or skeleton ball. Not skeleton wheel. That's different. Alright, that's the ending section. Won't be there for a little while. But that's where this area is leading to. So, the wheel skeleton area, actually, I don't remember being all that difficult. The oozes are a pain. Should probably clear a path of those. Otherwise, I'm going to get hit by them as I'm dodging through all the wheel skeletons. Oh, hey, thank you. Aha! Now I just get to kill you until you die. <laughs> oh, no! No, bad, 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 bad. I thought I... Okay, how many of these things are there? Okay, you are getting firebombed. Oh, good. And you're just gonna get killed. Wow, you picked a really bad time to attack me. Like, that was the worst for you, but the best for me. Thank you. Should be another one. Yeah, there's one over there. That's fine. There's one over there. That's not fine. That'll soon be a problem. Okay. Oh, wait. These are easy wheel skeletons. Hey, get back here! Get back here! I need to kill you! I forgot Dark Souls 3 wheel skeletons are actually fairly trivial to deal with. The game moves so much faster. It's not like with the original Dark Souls where you have to actually be careful dealing with wheel skeletons. In this game, you just kill them. They're pretty trivial, actually. I'm surprised I was all that worried. But, like I said, I forgot. And more of these goos. Eh, just firebomb. Eat a firebomb. Makes my life easier. I don't need to heal up that much. I was hitting the other one a lot so I could get full HP without using more Estus, but... Meh. So there's another one here? Yes, there- Oh, what? I- Oh, there's two. Oh, of course. I see the obvious one and I miss the other one. And now you die. Ow. Wow, one of these actually hit me. I'm impressed. Slightly annoyed, but mostly impressed. Uh, okay, and you're gonna be not fun. Slight tedium. Don't really feel like spending more money on fire. Actually, no, wait. Firebombs are like 100 each. Why worry? Just throw the firebombs. I get more HP back on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. All right, that's all I can get. I think that's all of them. I don't think they drop anything. I just don't think I have dropped anything. Not all the wheel skeletons, though. There's gotta be one more of these. So remember there being like these things everywhere. Ah, now you're gonna be What? Okay, fine. That's that's fine. I can deal with that too. You're just gonna be slightly unpredictable. But only slightly. Okay, I don't think there's any more wheel skeletons. There's loads and loads of goo. Goo. Okay, there's. That's what I wanted to get rid of. Get that off the ceiling, get the Carthus Blood Ring, which actually is of some use, as I recall. I don't remember what use exactly, because I don't remember what it does. Carthus Blood Ring! Boosts rolling invincibility at cost of defense. Oh yeah, that's terrible. Never mind. Small increase in iframes when I have two ways of getting iframes reliably. Nah, that's fine. I'll pass. Thank you. Not really sure what the value of the Carthus Rings is, ultimately. I mean, yeah, there's some value. They are they have some power. But that's a very specific build you're going for with them. And it's the kind of specificity that it doesn't really work for what I'd figure you'd want to... Ow! Darn it. What do you want to go for? Okay, seriously? Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Throw a firebomb in frustration. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I see what you're going to do. I can deal with that. Ow! I can't deal with that, though. I can deal with that! Ah, by my stamina, it would actually regenerate. Alright, the important thing is there's no more big skeleton set. Come okay, seriously, why is there crab down here? Dark gem. Oh, nice. 
Ah. I mean, I could parry you, I guess. I don't really get any benefits from it yet. Wait. You don't respond. Okay. You drop the thing. We're good. Ay, that was scary. Is there another bonfire around here? No, I'm getting confused with the later area, the smoldering lake. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Clever. Trying to get me to run to the trap. Well, that's not going to happen. Not today. Instead, I get to kill you and get the item that was on the other side of the area here. Because that's where we were before. And now we've gone around the other side because we went down there. That's... Yeah, that's the thing that happens. I, I forgot that's how it chained up, actually. But it did. Okay, another one of the shuttle wielders, I think. Well, another one of these annoyances, anyway. I think there's only one of you. Whoa, yes, but you are still a threat on your own. Unless I can lock you down, which I can. And not even locked on, either. Oh, ow, ow. That's actually painful. No, no, bad. Da. I'll just use the... I really gotta use my light attack more often, my double attack less often. The double attack keeps getting me killed. At least you're getting me hit when I don't really need to be. Like, the double attack's good. It gets me a lot of damage for, and a lot of hits, which means more healing. But it's so slow compared to the single attack. And in opportunities like that, you need to lock down and, well, you have to use a single attack. And the single attack works. And I have ashes! Also good! And I've cleared out the top bit. Also, also good! That... Oh. Well. There's another one of these. But I think we've kind of figured out a strategy for dealing with them. Ow. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that's why I want to use the double attack. Because I, if I hit the double attack, I stun them, and then I can just keep the lock on or lockdown going by hitting them with the single attack. That'll work. Ah. Ow. If I could just get... Oh, interesting. They operate in the same rules as I do? Like, because if I do this and I get hit, I get a lot of hits done and damage, and I really wish you'd stop hitting me. Ugh, man, that's annoying. J just die already, will you? Oh, thank goodness. All right. I was, about, I was about to bleed. My panic comes from the fact that my blood meter was full, or very nearly full, and the next hit could have killed me. Hey, right. Do I have any... The I do. So I don't have to wait around. Actually, that would have been useful in the fight, come to think of it. Now this bit... This is the last bit. This is the bit where we go through and fight a few skeletons, and then fight a few more skeletons, and then hundreds of skeletons come at me and... Oh, for crying out loud. Oh. Thanks! Thanks, collision detection. Oh, never mind. It actually did help me in that, in that particular instance. All right, so what I want to do is get Spook going. I... No. That was a waste. The idea being, I want to backstab this thing. That bridge is our target, by the way. That's the thing I'm going for. Yes! Perfect! Backstab off the edge. So the idea with this section is I actually want to do two things. First thing I want to do is go up and talk to Henri. Second thing I want to do... Actually, first thing I need to do... is this. Oh, no, I need to figure out my own... Ma okay, magic weapon. Perfect. I'm going to need that, because there's going to be a bunch of skeletons. And they're going to be a pain. I need to get rid of all of them. Thankfully, they don't respawn, or... They're... Will there be a bunch of skeletons? Maybe not. What... Okay, so the important thing you need to do, there's a path up around one side here. That'll get me to Henri. I need to take that path, get to Henri, and then go across the bridge. Or I can just do that. Okay. Hey! Aim it again. Alright, I have not seen horse anywhere. Sorry. Oh, yes, I see. And. Is your tie in low with no luck? Okay. Probably has left the catacombs. Maybe you haven't searched low enough. I don't know. Or is wherever you run off to. Well, you probably don't want to know. Well, I can't say I can help you. 
I don't know where he is. I mean, out of character, I know where he is, but this character specifically does not know where Horus is, and thus cannot provide any assistance. Well, at any rate, might as well just continue along. There's a nice bonfire over here, if I recall correct. No, there isn't a bonfire over here. There's just the boss fight. Right, the Wolnir fight. Huh. I feel like there was a quick way for me to getting here, and I don't remember what it was. How many... Uh, I'm not confident I can take the Wolnir fight in one. Like, I know how to do it. I just don't think I can. It's not like with the Deacon's fight. The Deacon's fight, I was pretty sure I could take it in one. But with only two Estus Flasks, I'm not confident. Now with 12,000 souls on the line. Well, I'll notice it, but you won't. So, I'll just deal with this stuff. Also, the bridge. Uh, I guess Henry's not going to come to us until we deal with Wolnir, but... Yeah, the bridge. It's a thing. I kind of need to use. Because loads of skeletons. Now I feel confident taking on Wolnir. Or at least reasonably confident. Using magic weapon? Okay. It's magic weapon our way through this. I haven't fought this boss in such a long time. Although it's kind of funny, because this boss actually isn't really much of a fight at first. It's just this empty room. You think, oh, what's going on in the empty room? And then you go, oh, well, no, touch the goblet, see what happens. And you're like, oh, okay. Well. Touch the goblet, see what happens. And then loads of evil happens. Just starts spewing out evil. Pure evil. And then you go deal with the boss. Well, it's more pure darkness, not so much evil. As I rah, teleport you to a black room with nothing in it except this giant skeleton. And also this, which is a way of tempting you to actually get close to the giant skeleton. Brave Warden Pyromancy Tome! Okay. Ah. Gotta watch my HP here. There we go. That's one down. The goal is to get rid of the rings, or at least the easy way of doing this. The quick kill is the rings. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's one ring, one extra ring. The idea being, if all the rings go, then Wolnir has nothing protecting them from falling into the abyss. Of course, it's important to be careful not to fall into the abyss as well, because if you do, you die. Like that, this this is actually death, if I'm not careful. And I am, because I was behind where it all went in, and we got it in one! Okay! I was worried for nothing. Granted, the run back was actually fairly simple. Once I got used to that Karthus Shotel wielding dude, actually wasn't that hard. I mean, one at a time, they're pretty manageable. Just needed to work out the strategy. Hit it once with a double attack, and then continue hitting it with a single attack to keep it locked down. Works every time. Now that is the Catacombs of Carthus. Done in one episode. Wasn't sure how long it would take. I actually was banking on two. That's well near done. And that leads us to Irithil. Or well, if I really wanted to, to the Smoldering Lake. But I want to get something in at Irithil first. Like, this is where the game opens up, actually. It's kind of interesting. So, up to now, we've had a largely linear game. I mean, it's been, with the exception of the Cathedral of the Deep, a straight-line path from Cemetery of Ash all the way to here. Cathedral of the Deep was a minor detour, but it could have gone a straight-line path here, and Cathedral of the Deep was a dead-end detour. Now, following this section, where I am now, there's actually two to three ways to go, depending on how you count it. I mean, granted, I could always go kill the Dancer and deal with Lothar Castle, but I'm not going to do that right now. But right here, from where I am, if I go back out here and go down this bridge, which is now a ladder, that leads me to the Smoldering Lake. Eventually. There's a mini-boss and such, but Smoldering Lake. 
and then I go out the way that just opened the two doors. And that leads me to a very nice little lost city that Henri was talking about. We get to Disneyland! And I know I made that joke already, but seriously, you cannot tell me that doesn't look at least somewhat like the Disney logo. Granted, it's a cathedral instead of a castle in the middle of the skyline, but eh, similar general idea. Anyhow, I want stuff in Irithyll first. And then I'm going to want to deal with Smoldering Lake at some point. But I'm not quite sure what order I want to go in. As for the third area, right over there, right where I'm looking at, that leads down to Irithyll Dungeon, which leads to the Profane Capital. Those, both this path and going straight through Irithyll are mandatory paths, but I can take them in any order. The, the Smoldering Lake is totally optional, but I'm going to take that as well, because I do want to do a 100% run. But anyway, for the time being, that is that, so I've... That's Gattacons of Carthus. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that, and... See you in the next episode. Until then, enjoy things on top of this.